This video is about adding and subtracting with negative numbers. Now, there are really two issues where people get confused when they're doing this, so I'm just going to try and address both of them. Let's start with an example. 5 plus negative 2. Alright, so how do we approach this problem? Well, the first thing we need to do is to do something about the signs. Do you see, uh, do you see how there's a plus and a minus sign right next to each other? We have to combine these signs into just a single plus or a single minus sign. In case you don't remember the guidelines for how this works, here they are. By the way, if you know how to multiply and divide negatives, this should look familiar, because it's the same thing. According to the rules, a positive and a negative sign can just be combined to make a negative if they're right next to each other. So, that's what I'm going to do. If I rewrite the problem, it's simply 5 minus 2, which is, of course, 3. Let's see another example. 4 minus negative 6. We're going to solve this in the exact same way. All we need to do is replace the two signs that are right next to each other. In this case, that's a minus and a minus with the appropriate single sign. And again, referring to the guidelines, a minus and a minus make a plus. When I rewrite the answer as 4 plus 6, it becomes clear that the answer is just 10. And, by the way, there's kind of a good analogy to the English language here that might help you remember that a minus and a minus makes a plus. So, what if somebody um, said something like, I don't not like coffee? Wouldn't they literally be saying that they do like coffee? In terms of language, that's called a double negative. And, actually, because of the fact that adding and subtracting is really just quantitative logic, it works the same way. A minus and a minus makes a plus. Anyway, that was the first thing that people have sometimes have trouble with, the uh, double sign thing. The second thing is when you have a problem like this. Negative 5 minus 4. What would this be? It turns out, it would actually be negative 9. Although, it's a really common mistake to think that it would be negative 1 or something like that. In any case, I'm going to show you what I think is a really good way to look at addition and subtraction problems in general and it involves imagining a number line. Check it out. Here's a number line. We have zero in the middle, the positive numbers going to infinity off towards the right, and the negative numbers going to infinity off towards the left. That's actually important to remember. Right means positive, and left means negative. And the reason that's important is that it's going to help us break down problems like this one in a way that hopefully makes a lot of sense. Take a look. Here, we have a distinct role for each part of the problem. The first part is a number which you can think of as the starting point. In this case, it's negative 5, so I'm going to go ahead and imagine that I'm starting there. The next part, the sign, tells us the direction that we're going to be walking. We're looking at a negative sign, and if you recall, that means we need to walk to the left for four steps. And how did I know how to take four steps? Well, that's what the last number tells you. And as you can see from the diagram, if we start at negative 5 and take four steps to the left, we're going to end up at negative 9. And that's the final answer. Let's just see one more quick example to cement these concepts. 1 minus negative 7. Remember, the first thing we have to do is deal with those double signs. Minus and minus make plus, so I'll just go ahead and make that replacement now. The next thing to do is think of the number line again. We're starting at positive 1, walking to the right for 7 steps. As you can see, we ended up at 8, so that's the solution. That's basically it for this video, but I just want to point out that you don't actually have to draw this whole number line thing each time, although it's still a really a good thing to picture it in your mind when you're doing these sorts of problems mentally.